Hey guys, I'm Tom Tech Chap, and for me, the whole point of a tablet, a good tablet, is to allow you to be more creative. Use it in different ways, in different places, and encourage you to doodle and draw and design and write and watch or play. Be creative, be productive on a device that can be as simple or as, if I just pop this on the back here, like so, and I'll whack that guy up there, or as versatile as you like. So let me introduce you to this. This is the new Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2, and it's their new flagship tablet, and it does three things very well. First, this pro-level flexible OLED display, together with their new third-generation M Pencil, makes for one of the most responsive and most satisfying drawing and writing experiences I've ever used. Second, the 120Hz refresh rate and surprisingly punchy speakers make everything you watch, play, or edit look and sound incredible. And third, it's a workhorse. Add this new smart magnetic keyboard, open up the kickstand on the back, and you can get some proper work done on this. So let me walk you through this MatePad Pro 13.2. And if you do fancy picking one of these up, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you've got any questions about this that I don't cover in this little walkthrough video, then drop a comment as well. But first, just look at this thing. It is five and a half millimeters thick. It also weighs just 580 grams. And so despite having a noticeably bigger screen than the iPad Pro 12.9, this is about 100 grams lighter and also almost a full millimeter thinner. This is an absolutely stunning piece of hardware. We've got super slim bezels around that 13.2 inch screen. We have this little notch at the top for cameras, which by the way are among the best on any tablet I've used, both this front one and the two on the back. And I also do appreciate it's centered for landscape as that is how we make video calls. And I'm also glad they went with this three by two aspect ratio as opposed to say 16 by 10. So it's a little bit taller and less obnoxiously rectangular. And it really is quite remarkable that I can hold a screen this big. This is Huawei's largest tablet screen in one hand, it's relatively comfortable. And of course you can use it in landscape mode or portrait, however you like, or obviously docked with the magnetic keyboard. It comes in two flavors. There's a golden black and a green one, which I have here. This rear cover is made from high strength glass fiber, but they've also added a nano optical coating to give it a bit more of a metallic look, and then also a micro sand texture to make it more durable. And I am very happy to report it does not pick up any of my greasy fingerprints or smudges. Okay, I want to talk about this screen and also this screen combined with this pencil because firstly, this is the world's first flexible OLED display in a tablet and it features Huawei's X True display technologies. So we're talking a thousand nits of peak HDR brightness, it's pro level color accuracy. And of course, being an OLED display, we have that one million to one contrast ratios. So you get incredible detail in dark areas and none of that blooming and haloing that we see on the iPad Pro's mini LED screen. So as the cliche goes, you get those deliciously inky blacks. You might also be able to notice just how fast this thing is. Actually, that's not true. You're not gonna be able to tell. This is a 60 Hertz, 60 FPS video. This is 120 frames per second, uh, combined with a 360 Hertz touch sampling rate and just a one millisecond response time. So as soon as your finger or the pen touches the screen, whatever it is you're doing, you get that instant feedback. It really is an incredibly responsive display. So this is the new Huawei M Pencil. It's a third generation stylus and you just pop it on the top here to connect and wirelessly charge. And whereas you'd normally expect two or three or 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity for most styluses, styluses, sty styli, styluses, <laughs> with this guy, we have over 10,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. And together with their near link tech that helps reduce latency and gives you better adaptive pressure, you can write, you can doodle and draw and paint and design incredibly precisely. So whether you favor Mojang Paint or Sketchbook or Nomad Sculpt as your app of choice, to name just a few, this is the closest to an actual pen slash paintbrush that you'll ever use. I just wish I had the skills to properly show this off. Okay, so most of the time I will use this with a pair of headphones or earphones, just because I don't wanna bother uh, Mrs. Tech Chap or the people on the train or the plane I'm around. But while we have gone to the trouble of putting some pretty damn good speakers in this. Souped up by the Huawei Sound Tech, which uses an algorithm to improve the quality and it'll also adapt and optimize the sound based on what you're playing. It can even handle directional sounds. So you can get that really immersive surround sound experience through a tablet. 
and obviously paired with this big 13.2 inch screen, everything looks and sounds amazing. Uh, whether you're consuming content or creating it, you could uh, fire up a bit of cat cut, cat cut, cap cut, uh, Lightroom I tend to use quite a lot, Premiere Rush, Snapseed, whatever you fancy, and we'll talk about apps in a second, but you can get pretty much everything you want on this. Now I've been using this quite a bit over the last couple of weeks, and particularly at night, which is anything from like 3.30 in the afternoon here in the UK. So I definitely appreciate the MatePad Pro has TUV Rhineland's Global Eye Care 3 certification for reducing blue light from the screen, which can strain your eyes and also make it harder to get to sleep. Now promise me, promise me, if you do pick one of these up, you will also get the Huawei Smart Magnetic Keyboard. It is absolutely essential to get the most out of this. And it's a two-part design. You've got this back cover here, which obviously protects the back, uh, and also has a built-in kickstand. For that alone, you're definitely gonna want this. But then if you pair it with this keyboard and you simply pop it onto the back there, it's all magnetic, you've got yourself a nice little laptop replacement. But wait, there's more, because you can either use it like this, a more traditional sort of clamshell laptop, or you can detach it from the keyboard itself. Uh, you still got the kicks down there, which is actually surprisingly useful. Or if space is a little bit tight, say on a train or a plane, you can have the tablet on the table and maybe your keyboard on your lap. And also, if you do add the pencil, which as I say, just pops on the top there, you can then push this kick kick <laughs> kicks down right back and use it in this more studio form. So you have a much more comfortable drawing canvas experience. Great if you're firing up a drawing or painting app. And for me, it's this flexibility and the ability to use it however you like that really makes the MatePad Pro stand out. Oh, and I can also say I haven't experienced any slowdowns yet. And I've also been getting about 10 hours of regular use out of this. Although what we say you'll get about 12 hours of nonstop local video playback. Plus it charges nice and quickly thanks to their 88 watt supercharger, which you'll also see has both a USB-A and a USB-C port. But I know this is gonna come in handy. Now you may be thinking, hang on Tom, is this not just an Android tablet? It looks like Android. Well, it kind of is. Basically, this is running on an open source version of Android, but we've got Huawei's Harmony OS software UI on top. And they've been working on this for like four years, and it is a lovely skin. It's a lovely bit of software. Everything's nice and fast, good amounts of customization. But the crucial question obviously is about applications. Obviously we don't have GMS, the Google mobile services on this, but we do have Huawei's own app gallery. And you've got Telegram, you've got TikTok, you've got uh, the full Microsoft 360 5 Office app, a fair bit of stuff, and also a fair bit of stuff I probably won't be downloading, but it's a good starting point. For everything else, though, that you can't find for all your other applications, I then jump into Petal Search and literally just search for the app I want, and it sends me to a website where I can then download the APK of the app, sideloading, if you will. Huawei then run a security check on any download to make sure there isn't any potential malware, and you're good to go. A little bit of a faff, but it's not the end of the world, so I can take advantage of the fantastic Huawei hardware with the apps and games that I actually want. Although just go in with the expectations that you may not find every app you want, and also it's not always the latest version, and some apps like YouTube do still run in a mobile browser, which is a little bit, well, suboptimal. So I've been using this for a couple of weeks now for doing some work, for drawing, for editing, for watching a bunch of movies, reading books on the Kindle app. It's a bloody good tablet, incredible for creatives that need to draw or write. It looks and sounds fantastic, and it can be a proper productivity workhorse. Definitely worth considering. And as I say, if you do fancy picking this up for yourself, link in the description below. Also, let me know what you make of the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2. Bit of a mouthful. And if you've got any questions as well, drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.